I'm Tom Long, and tomorrow is the second Sunday of, guess what? Christmas. That's right. According to the church calendar, Christmas isn't over yet, and tomorrow is the last Sunday of Christmas. So, and by the way, not every year is there a second uh, Sunday of Christmas. This happens to be one of those years. And our gospel reading for this coming service is John chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. I'm not going to read all of that, uh, but I want to hit some of the highlights of that. And um, let's start in the beginning. Oh yeah, verse 1, in the beginning. That's how John 1 starts. Guess what? That's how the Bible starts. Genesis chapter 1 starts with, in the beginning. And it says, God created the heavens and the earth. And in fact, six times after that, we have this little phrase, and God said, and God said, let there be light. And God said, let there be a vault between the waters. And God said, let the water under the sky be gathered to one place, and so on. So the way that God created was with what? With his words. And so in John chapter 1, he refers back to in the beginning, and he said, in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, without nothing, without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. So God creates with the Word. The Word is with God. The Word is God. And nothing exists without that Word. And in Him, in the Word, in God, is life. And that life was the light of men. The life that is God, that life-generating force that is God, that person, is the light of humankind. And the light shines in the darkness, it continues, but the darkness has not understood it. And it goes on, and, and in verses uh, 6 through 9, it talks about John the Baptist testifying to the light, but in verse 9, it says, the true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. That's what John is telling us. And he was in the world Though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. And so this little passage, uh, verses 1 through 18, is the only time that John uses the word grace. And in fact, he uses it three times and talks about grace upon grace. And so what is this grace that John is talking about? He's talking about the fact that God the Creator came into the world to give us life, and that life would be everlasting. And he not only came to give us life, but in the darkness he came to give us light. And so he did this. And this is what Christmas is all about. He did this by becoming fully human as well as being fully God. And so, you know, Christmas lights, There's a, we do a lot with lights at Christmas time, right? And it all comes back to this idea that Jesus is the light of the world. And I, I love the quote. Um, I wish I could remember the exact words. Maybe I'll put it up on the screen here beside me. Uh, I love the quote uh, by Mr. Rogers. He quoted his mother as saying, you know, in the bad times, look for the helpers. And I use that quote a lot because it really resonates with me. And 2020, which we've just left in our rearview mirror, was a dark year because of the pandemic. And yet in that dark year, there was light. And what Mr. Rogers' mother said was, when all of these bad things are happening, look for the helpers. And if you look 
at what the church was doing during the pandemic. Yes, there were churches that were um, doing bad things, but look for what the churches did that was good. You will see light. You will see people being fed when they had lost their jobs because the restaurants couldn't stay open, uh, those sorts of things. And we, we reached out to one another as a community to check on one another and to support one another. And as you look at the helpers in the world, I hope that you will see the light of Christ. And I hope that in reflecting on that, we'll all be inspired to become light in the world, to let the light of Jesus shine through us as we show that we love our neighbors as ourselves. So, I hope you had a great Christmas. I hope 2021 is way better than 2020. And I hope that you will be light to your neighbors. Thank you, and God bless you.